We're the Anders head coach Jim Holden. Jim, nearly a sold out Baron coming up for tomorrow night's game. What's the preparation been like now that the team is home to get ready for a big game against the Wildcats on Saturday night? Well, a big sigh of relief to finally be back on home ice. It's been a, a tough stretch here of road games and uh, it's particularly hard on the body with a lot of bus hours. So I think everybody's really excited to be back on home ice. And here there's a full crowd to be an energized building. And we've had terrific games against Moncton and expect more of the same. Now, with the playoff stretch coming up, six points behind Bathers currently, looking to avoid a trip to Quebec in the first round. What needs to happen for the Islanders to catch up now to the Teton with two games in hand and two games against the Teton left this season? Well, it's a pretty simple formula. We need to try to win as many games as we can down the stretch here. For me, at this time of the year, it's all about uh, playing the game the right way. Irregardless of where we end up in the standings, it's about can we be healthy and can we be performing to our best when playoffs do hit. Now, what's been like preparation-wise coming in for the guys after getting home obviously you said tired bodies now are the guys looking forward to a big night Saturday to come out hard against Moncton yeah I think our biggest thing now is preserving energy I, I think we let them sleep in a little bit this morning we'll do the same thing tomorrow on game day uh, light recovery skates uh, to us right now it's a lot of tactical stuff we're slowing our practices down in terms of preserving that energy but still making sure that we're teaching a lot of the components that are going to be important for us now, what's the lineup going to look like tomorrow night? Obviously, Jardine's back from his suspension. Are there any other shakeups coming? No, I don't anticipate any. We'll have to have one game time decision. Uh, obviously, Max back in. Finally, we'll have a compliment of six defensemen. Uh, Voss is out day-to-day. Uh, -day. Probably won't be available probably for most of the weekend. And, of course, Geo is longer term, so we'll have one decision to make. Now, what have you seen the players kind of changing their game or putting in different aspects to get ready for this playoff push? Well, I think we're understanding the importance of defensive hockey. When we've had success, it's low goals against. And there's no secret that that's a formula to success. But our goaltending's been a lot better. I think we spent a lot of time here recently attacking our special teams. That's an area that has to improve down the stretch. Uh, our power play had been really productive in the first half. Stipped a little bit. The penalty kill has, has been another area that's been troublesome. So I think those focal areas just, again, five men taking pride in defending and then special teams. And finally, you've seen a lot of the Wildcats as of late. Two games last weekend or the weekend before alone. A home and home. What have you seen that those two games that you're going to take into this one? Well, we know going into it, one of the, the mantras all the time is to control their speed. They're a quick team. You, you think of guys like Loshing and Mueller. That if you let them loose, they're going to do a lot of damage on you. So we have to be really strict and tight defensively away from them. Great, thanks, Jim. Thank you.